Hello all, this is Daniel Berman, USCF expert 2131. And today I am going over the third in a series of problems that originate from the opening. And the problem today is uh, black is going to checkmate white in five moves with rook to h1 checkmate. And it's not rook takes h1 checkmate, the problem is rook to h1 checkmate. So when a rook goes to h1, there can't be a piece on h1. So uh, why don't you pause the position right here and try it out. Um, I think actually the difficulty of this one's pretty high, but um, I'll, I'll go over the, when we come back, I'll go over the problem and I'll pause it along the way a few times to see if you can still figure it out. I think it's pretty difficult even on the second to last move. So anyway, give it a try and uh, come back. All right, well, I hope uh, you attempted in solving this problem. I think it's a pretty cute one, so let's begin. White plays g4, black plays h5, white plays bishop to g2, black plays h to g4, and as you can probably tell, it is the rook that gets into the game. Bishop takes b7, rook to h2, Knight to h3, bishop to b7, and now I'm going to give you one more opportunity to pause the position if you haven't solved it before and try to figure this out. White has one move left, and after white's move, black's move is checkmate. So what can white do in this position to get checkmated on the next move? Now remember, black has to go rook to h1, not rook takes h1. So what could white do to get checkmated on this next move? And uh, give it a try. All right, well, I hope uh, you gave it a try. If not, I think the, you'll think that the, uh, the solution is pretty amusing. White plays castles. Yeah, castles is still legal in this uh, position because um, the king doesn't cross a check. And black plays rook h1 checkmate. And that's it. Black made five moves with rook to h1 mate without capturing a piece. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this problem as much as I have, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.